Hello everyone, welcome to my channel ASP.NET Core and today I'm going to uh, teach you how to add search here like that uh, in existing view model. So uh, you know that in the model, if you want to add uh, these things in a view model, that is very pretty easy things to do. So here we have a customer type. So just go for the controller section and you will see that first of all stop debugging and in the customer type view model, just you can see in the list. So here we have uh, repositories and here we have a view models and webs project like that. So just I want to tell you about uh, the customer types. So here we have a customer type controller and you can see in the customer type controller here we have a lots of data like a customer type controller and here we have a index action method where you can see that the page size is 10 and the page number is looking like that. And if you want to put uh, some search string like that, uh, string uh, searching, okay, is uh, by default you can say null. Okay, so uh, that is the pretty uh, much simple thing. So that make it nullable first of all. So and after that you can just apply the search string it here in the get all method also so uh, here if first of all check if uh, search string 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 dot is null or empty what searching okay that is is null or empty is not string is null or empty then what is the customer type you can take so here we have a customer types is what that first of all just uh, consider it so you can take a method it here so uh, that is the customer types and here I'm going to use page result. Okay, so so just I'm going to add a page result. Of type and what inside it here, you can say customer type list view model. Customer type list view model. And here we have search result. Or you can say that customer types customer types okay so uh, just you can just create it here because it's inside in the scope so just cut it here and paste it here and you can say it's a uh, customer types so just paste it here okay and just remove the section from here and inside it you can use again customer types and in the customer types you can just put it here customer types repo and dot search and searching with paging page size and page number so just add it here just control dot and generate method search okay so everything is good now just go for the uh, method where your definition is there so just go to the definition and here we have a search with the searching and page in size and the page number is there and the output result is page result okay so here you can say that i customer type repo and just go for the implementation detail and here we have unimplemented method so just implement it implement interface in implement interface everything it is good you can say that it is the page size and the page number is there but uh, remember that uh, everything is uh, uh, used with the this types of things so here we have just use control copy and paste it here and you can see that here we have a customer type list view model is like that and just include exclude result page size multiply page number that is the page size and the page number is there and 
uh, except with the page size okay and model list is context dot customer types dot exclude result okay but i want to search with this list dot customer types dot where uh, x tends to x dot con so uh, here we have a, con a context dot customer types dot where dot x dot customer types names dot contain searching string like that oops name dot contains and here we have a searching string that is searching it's well good dot skip uh, and everything is well okay so uh, here we have a context dot customer types but uh, just i want to include all these things with uh, that types of things instead of uh, the whole records just i want to say so just you can say it here dot to list and dot count okay so everything is clear now just again save this and uh, and you have to implement all the searching scenario looking like that and here we have a customer types but remember that here we have a customer types and customer type is the customer type list view model and just go for the customer type list view model looking like that just go to definition and here we have a another uh, things to add it here and uh, or you can say uh, or you can take uh, string types name so instead of this uh, inside it you can take it uh, you can just uh, add a new thing in the views folder so where is the customer types so here we have a views and here we have a customer types this time I'm going to go for the index and here you can just design a form okay so just here we have a form and ASP action that is index okay and just I'm going to uh, sorry ASP action is index okay so here we have the form with the input control input uh, type is text just I want to take it here and class folder is search uh, search customer type name search customer type you can see and the name is similar with searching that is the name similar with the customer type controller like searching so just copy it here and paste it here okay and everything is fine now just after that you have to put input type or you can say you can take it class it here like class is supposed to form control okay input type is submit and uh, value is search okay okay that's fine now just you can say that form will use to just go for the index section method so save this here and just go for it so finally you can implement uh, the seller like that and just when we uh, put seller inside it here and click to search button and you will that notice that debugging point is hit and after that continue you will see that the searching string is here with the edit and delete buttons so the search is applied it here and that search Will be in implement in all other functions like customer like sales types and all so uh, that is the pretty cool things and you can just add a uh, partial page also because everything is the search okay